The latest giant container ships are built for speed. Manufacturers want their goods to get from factories in the Far East to the shelves of high street stores as quickly as possible. As they used to say, time is money. Not anymore. Here's why. A ship like this travels at up to 25 knots. Slowing it down saves 175 tonnes of fuel a day. On a one-way trip from China to Southampton, that's around 1,000 tonnes of fuel, or half a million pounds. The cost of the fuel was always a small percentage of the overall cost of a vessel. And in real terms, in the last few years, that, uh, that balance has now changed and the fuel bill is around five times the price of the ship itself. It also means the ship produces far less carbon dioxide. It becomes greener. The principle is exactly the same as driving your car along the motorway. Average speeds have fallen because at 70 miles an hour instead of 80, you use 10% less fuel. For shippers, it is a complex equation. Slowing ships down means they need more ships with more crew to carry the same goods. Every company needs more stock stuck at sea for longer, changing the whole supply chain. Historically, we've tried to move goods around the world by ship as fast as possible, and that's no longer economically viable. And we must start to look at the economic and also the ecological problems associated with that. So it's, it's a good move all round, really, to, to slow down a little. It's a clear indicator of the changing way all of us will travel in future, as fuel efficiency becomes more important than simply getting there quickly. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Southampton Docks.